what the megatrend technology is all around is the fact that you cannot change, you cannot compete without responding to the underlying changes in technology that are going on all around us. 81% of CEOs that we survey think that technology will transform their business in the next five years. That means technology now is all encompassing. It's very hard to stay in touch with your customers these days unless you adopt technology. Adoption in the consumer landscape is rampant. Everyone is connected to the internet by a smartphone. Everyone has expectations in terms of how they interact with um, consumer products, retailing, uh, telecoms companies across multiple channels. Where's it going to go next? I think where it's going to go back is going to be around handing power back to the consumer. So I think the lines between consumers and sellers is going to blur. The way that we see it at PwC is the first digital wave, in simple terms, another channel. We could sell to you over the internet. Do you recognize Amazon? We recognize the impact of Google and lots of uh, fairly traditional organizations just added web channel to their existing portfolio. The second wave was really about what we call an economy of outcomes. So it's really about teaming up with the consumer to find an outcome. And a good example of that would be a number of companies that are involved in, in helping you live a healthier lifestyle. The third wave is really going to be about consumers particularly taking that power back. So you'll start to own your digital brand, you'll start to own who you are on the web, and you'll be expecting organizations to deal with you as an individual. You'll expect them to know exactly how you want to be dealt with, to know what you want, to be good predictors of actually the things that might inspire you and, uh, and get you to build a relationship with them. So I see there'll be a shift in power from the producers to the consumers as we go into the third wave. Social, mobile, analytics, cloud, they will all affect the consumer. Social, as the different ways that you interact. My children use different social media tools than I do, and the next generation will use different ones after that. Mobile phone already is the predominant platform in many parts of the world. Analytics will unlock a lot of that value. And then cloud means you might store information, you store videos, you store photos. You have almost unlimited access to processing and memory power out there. We're now talking about information as an asset in the business. So it's definitely at the top of the agenda. And it's, I think, very much in response to the adoption of technology by consumers. One of the interesting things about um, the technology landscape is that it's changing the way that we interact as individuals. Look at things like Facebook, LinkedIn. They allow you to have a network of thousands. That transforms how you can access information, how you can organize yourself, how you can go to market. So on both sides, both on the consumer side and on the production side, of, uh, of the economy, we're finding there are just new models that are being underpinned by different ways of using technology. This explosion in information and this explosion in our ability to be able to put that information together in different combinations and understand a very detailed level about you as an individual. Now that's going to have some profound social consequences and I think some of the smarter organizations out there are recognizing that where we're going next is we have to give that power back to you as an individual. One of the things about you seeing with, with technology and the speed of change is that it's just bypassing traditional uh, evolutionary steps in, in the marketplace. If you look at markets like Africa, there have been just generations of technology which have been bypassed. So fixed line telecoms, for instance, the whole of the African subcontinent is about uh, mobile um, and uh, manifests itself through in medicine, it manifests itself through cashless payment systems. So large parts of Africa are actually living a cashless economy. So they're breaking past Western expectations of what the development path will be. And this is happening all around the world. So we uh, are responding in various ways. We're looking at how we deploy technology to help us with challenges around forensics and the, the, the world of big data is one which um, opens lots of opportunities in terms of how we can deliver forensic services to our clients. In consulting we're creating our own technology capability. We absolutely recognize that you can't deliver change in the 21st century without understanding deeply the technology drivers of it and how you implement and change technology. It's not about having a technology strategy, it's about having a strategy which understands the impact that technology will have on your business. I think this idea of putting technology into a bucket and it's separate from how you organize the rest of your your um, organization is is gone the pace of change is not going to slow the pace of change is going to accelerate um, and being open-minded to that recognizing the skills and the capabilities that you need to have within your business in order to deal with that those organizations have to be able to adapt to that demand and respond and the ones that are agile and able to respond to it are the ones that are making headway in the marketplace